Hi Griffins, and welcome to Coach's Corner, where I sit down and talk with different faculty members and students from our community to see how they've been doing since we've been away from school during the coronavirus. Keep watching to see who I talk to today. Hi, Griffins. I'm here today with Coach Milligan, hey, hey. six feet apart, and we're going to play a little pig, and I'm going to ask her some questions about what she's been up to while we've been staying at home. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you in a minute. All right, Coach, we're going to play a little game of pig. Uh, since I'm so good at basketball, I'll let you go ahead and go first. So you take the first shot, whatever you want, and then it'll go to me. Uh, but also, I wanted to, I want to ask you some questions while we play. So I may just talk while you're shooting. Okay. So we're gonna limit the basketball dribbles because it's loud and I don't have a mic yet. So, coach, your shot. Oh. Okay, so I think what I'd like to know, other than the fun video that you shot with Ms. McCafferty, what kind of things have you been doing to stay busy Ah. while well, staying at home. Well, I have been cooking a lot of really good food and baking and catching up with some friends that I haven't talked to in a while because everybody's at home and they're available. Oh. I really should have warmed up before we yeah. started this video. <laughs> I just shot the video with Coach Martinez for our little Tabata workout. I'm a little tired. I'm going to try from here. Man, I really miss those uh, blueberry scones that you make for our celebrations. Yes. All right, here we go. In there! Oh. This might take a long time. Good thing I'm to okay. Can't touch it. Hey, do you find anything, anything about staying at home? This has kind of been a question I've been asking a lot of people. Do you find anything about staying at home shockingly enjoyable? So like something you didn't think that you would enjoy, now that you have so much time, you're starting to enjoy it. Now I'm just going to do a layup for you. Okay. Yeah, things that are enjoyable. Oh my gosh, you Now remember, you got to speak wildly. That's right. <laughs> um, let's see. Wait, is that a pee? Yes. Pee for me. Um, I, I knew that I really enjoyed being with my roommates. But I think that spending more time with them has made me appreciate them even more. Um, so we've spent a lot of time laughing together, and we've made a bunch of videos together, but we've also eaten all of our meals together, um, which has been really fun. I coach all year, <laughs> so I'm not usually home for dinner, um, which has been really nice to have sit-down meals together. I really love that. Yeah, I've, I've found I've been eating. I've been able to stay home and eat a lot more meals with my family. We try to eat breakfast and dinner together, yeah. But now we're doing all three, and not coaching, I'm home for dinner a lot more. So that has been really nice. Man, I, I'm out of, out of practice. Hey! <laughs> so, another, another question, while well, I try to make this. And I've, I've also talked to a couple other people about this, so I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to limit the question like I did for some other people. What do you think is a, a danger uh, that the community faces while staying at home so much? Whether they're a single uh, child or by themselves, or maybe even multiple siblings, parents, like all the different things that we face. But what, what's some sort of difficulty or challenge or vice that we may fall into because of the difference, this new normal, as Mr. Ellison called it. Did you make that? I did. I used do, I have, do I have to bake it? Uh, nah. I can shoot a rim shot. Oh, no. 
That was an air ball. That's a really good question. I think that um, something that is obvious is that you can become kind of selfish. Um, if you're at home all day with just your family, it's easy to sort of hunker down and think about just you guys. Um, there's enough things that are going on that you're worried about. If you have enough toilet paper for just your family, <laughs> or did you get enough vegetables because the grocery cleared out quickly? Um, so thinking about the larger community and how to stay in touch with them is, I think, a really important part of being in quarantine, especially for us Griffins, because you know most of the things that we do in our athletic teams as a school are part of the community. I think it's easy to forget about that when you can't see people every day. But we're, we're, right. tied we're, <laughs> we're tied up We're tied up to you. Oh. Should have picked a running challenge. <laughs> oh, nope. All right, PI I'm gonna lay up to P. Man. Wait, does that count? No, 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 it's your shot again. It's your shot again. <laughs> so, have you read any, any good books lately that you would recommend to, you know, parents, faculty, or students? Um, I am reading Gilead by Marilyn Robinson right now. Say that again? I'm reading Gilead. Oh, that was like almost too close for comfort. <laughs> <laughs> By Marilyn Robinson, um, which is a classic Southern, I think, eh, Midwestern. It's an American novel. <laughs> um, and I've never read it, and a bunch of people have told me to read it, so I decided that, hey, I'm in quarantine, I should read it. Um, I've been also reading Augustine's Confessions, which the faculty is seminaring on right now, which is amazing. Super good. You know, I, I just, man, this, this game might be over. I'm finally getting warmed up. Yeah. All right. I just finished a book that you actually loaned me uh, right before Easter. Well, it's the Robe. Robe. No, The Robe. The Robe, that's right. Right? I, it's, it was really good. I recommended it to other people. I recommended it to Coach Martinez and uh, his daughter, Lucia. So I, I really enjoyed it, I, along with Quo Vadis. I thought they're very similar. So. Uh, supposedly, there's some uh, old, I think, 60s or 70s there are uh, movies those. for that. I haven't watched it yet. I wanted to sit down with my wife and, and watch it. So I have to make this to win, right? Yes. And, or not to win, just not to lose. Not to lose. <sighs> All right. I'll tell you what, if I make this, no, I don't have anything. Oh, well, we'll see. I'm going to try to use the backboard this time. Ah! for you. Another air five. Way to go, coach. Do you have any parting words that you would like to send to the community? Uh, you know, because, well, Mr. Scoggin, just, Dr. Scoggin just came out and said that we're not coming back for the rest of the year until fall, which is sad, but, but understandable. I understand what leadership's doing there, so um, we'll see about summer camps. Who knows? But any, any parting words from this interview? Hopefully we'll do more. As I get more and more creative. So, last words for the community for today's video. Um, I guess what I would say is that just like Coach Martinez and Coach Hunt have been encouraging you guys to get out and work out at home, um, some of you are basketball players, some of you are volleyball players. I hope that you're doing what you love. Um, but also, maybe use this time to learn another skill that you haven't practiced as much. If you're a volleyball player, get a soccer ball, kick it around. Um, learn, learn a new skill that, that you can use later on when you see your friends. Um, quarantine frisbee isn't really a thing, <laughs> so I really miss that. Um, but I would say that this is an opportunity for us to live our best life in many ways. We have so much time, um, but don't waste it. Don't sleep in till 10. Get up, get your work done, go for a run before it gets really hot. Um, and make sure that when the school year comes, we're all our best Griffin selves. And come to my Zoom classroom. <laughs> I miss seeing you guys. All right. Thanks, Coach Milligan. Uh, it's great hanging out with you. I miss you. I uh, hope you and all your friends at the house tell them all I said hi. I will. Uh, and 
Griffins, until next time, stay fit.